So what does it really mean living in Italy, being becoming an Italian, um, especially in Tuscany? Tuscany uh, is a beautiful countryside in middle Italy. I think you know it. Maybe you just went to Italy for holiday. So what does it really mean living here? So today I'm talking to Anna Lisa Tempestini. She's a soul sister and friend of mine and she is a yoga teacher and wine producer. Her wine is as natural as she is. And we was talking about living with the locals and enjoying the nature and the beauty of Tuscany. What does it really mean staying here for a long time, living here day by day? And I wish you enjoy the talk with her. So let's start. Uh, today I am talking with Annalisa Tempestini. She is a yoga teacher and um, a wine producer in Tuscany. And uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, thank you, Karen. Thank you, Karen. It's such a pleasure to be here with you, sharing this room, uh, virtual room with you. Yeah. And, yes, I'm actually, I became, um, I became before a wine producer and right after I met yoga. Hmm. So both these passions were growing in me and I, I'm very glad that I nurture them. So, you know, passion, we have a lot of passions, but sometimes we... We need to work on them so that we we can go somewhere. So <laughs> with the wine, it has been, uh, it started as a passion. Yeah. And I think that is the success uh, that I, for me, the success is that the wine is good and people like it. You know, I'm not talking about sales or anything, but it was very, it was a choice to make wine for passion and for uh, loving the country. Yes. And, and the yoga was a, a, a passion for uh, not just the physical uh, movement of the body, but something else that um, I was very attracted to. So, and I didn't do both until a few years ago uh, because I was into the wine for many, many years and thinking of uh, creating my little uh, reality here in Tuscany and then only after uh, my yoga teacher told me one day hey you're always here why don't you become a teacher yourself and I, and I responded well I'm a wine producer like I can't be both, both and yeah. then she said you can be both it's there are parts of you so you just you know wow. so at the beginning I was very shy also with my wine customers because I didn't want them to think that I wasn't taking care of the wine anymore and that I was, you know, just thinking of, oh, or <laughs> I had to, I kept it very separated. Yeah. And then one day, it's a very beautiful story because my wine label has a feather, has a white feather that for me is a very important symbol. Mm -hmm. And when I became a yoga teacher only 10 years ago, so my wine was already, my teacher gave me a white feather. And I said, why are you giving me this? And she said, this is a shaman uh, tradition uh, for when uh, it's the passing of the teacher to the student. Mm -hmm. uh, it represents the great spirit. So I, from that moment, I looked at my wine in a different way and Every time I see the white feather there, I know that it's, you know, it's both parts of me are in, in my, in everything I do. So yeah. my yoga is the wine and, and it's fine. So you don't so, have to choose one, one or, la, or the other one because no. you're both and you express both. yourself through both. Yes. And I also had this uh, in, in information that I do, what I do are both very, very old. We're talking about thousands of years um, uh, activities because wine was made, you know, and yoga as well. So yes. we're talking about 4,000 years uh, things that I'm doing. And I live in a 
monastery of the 15th of 16th century monastery mm -hmm. so i feel like it's beautiful to have all this his history in my in both my house where i physically teach yoga and make my wine also was a very old place so <laughs> it's really complete yeah it makes me feel very good yes beautiful yeah and so actually you are uh, uh, you're teaching yoga and um how is it you're living in tuscany since uh, about 30 years is that right yes uh, yeah actually, yeah i live in florence since i was uh five years old okay. and then i moved to this area in montalcino when i was 21 oh. nearly 22 so now i'm going to tell you <laughs> it's It's 30 in 88, so it's 33, almost 33 years ago that I live in this area, in the country. Yes. Oh, I love this. I love this countryside. I'm, <laughs> my heart is beating. <laughs> um, actually, what do you think is, how is Tuscany actually uh, the last 12 months and today? Is there changed anything or... Um, is there changed anything in this last um, five to ten years? What is your experience today? So you are living there since a lot of time, mm -hmm. but uh, how's the feeling? How's the life? How's life in Tuscany today? Today, well, of your course, life, your life. <laughs> yeah, of course, because of the situation of the global situation, the life it's much quieter. But who lives, who decides to live here? Because I think we have to separate on, on who lives here, always lived here, and who decided to live here. So yes. most of, for example, most of my friends, and I have a lot of friends in this area, they're all people like me that specifically decided and chose to yeah. come and live here. Yeah. So this, this created all, yeah, this created a society that it's very beautiful because we have this in common. So yeah. when I meet these, not now, but usually when I meet these people, these foreigners at the dinners, parties, we're always very happy to meet each other because we know we have this in common that we know that from Germany, yes. Belgium, yes. that we love this place so, so much that we decided to come and live here. I want to say a hazardous thing I have the feeling sometimes that we love it more than the people that are always lived here. Yeah. I often have this feeling. Mm, I don't know why. I, I don't know why, but it's, it, and it's okay. Because if you think, you know, we decided and we fought. Yeah. Yeah. I fought to come and live here. I had to give up. I was young. Yeah. I give up all the life, yeah. all the disco life. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes I was missing terribly uh, the gatherings, the, the places, the clubs full of people, full of, yeah. hey, so, here, you don't find it here. Yeah. So I, I decided to do, well, it was okay. But I, you know, some people, it's, it, to live here, you have to, of course, give up on something. But then you find, you find. everything. You find everything. And you find that you don't need much. Living here, you know, I just look at outside of the window and I have like a painting every window of my house. So what, and if you have, if you have the attitude of enjoying, of watching, I mean, we all have eyes, so we can see this, but if we connect our eyes to our heart, so I'm, I practice gratitude. Yes. So every morning, every time I, Even if I'm running with the laundry, I have a normal life. But if I see what's going on up outside and I stop with my laundry and I look and, and I'm grateful and I say inside of myself, thank you. Yeah. Thank you that even if I do the life, I'm, I'm able to see this. Yes. So this is the... Uh, yeah. And yeah. That so, every day, every, every hour, if you have the eyes to see it. Yeah. Yes, the eyes, and, and then connect the eyes to your heart. more, yeah. yeah, in the heart. And this is something that it's important. And this place allows you to do this. I mean, if you have this attitude of being um, watching with the heart, 
connecting, having an open, open heart, open mind. If you, um, if you don't need much, like I, with my girlfriends, we go for walks and going for a walk. It's a super exciting thing. Mm. It's like for some other woman go and shopping and buy bags and, and shoes, which we don't mind too, but wow, let's go for a walk. You know, yeah. one day a friend of mine, she's coming for a picnic. Yes. We're going to eat and we're going to walk. And this is, oh, so yeah. this is what is beautiful. And it what really saved me, my mental sanity uh, during this year, because knowing that there's a beautiful nature that has not been, uh, um, has not been interrupted or disturbed by the hand of the man because we are lucky this area of Montalcino you, you hardly see or Val d'Orcia as you know very well it's hard to see something in the landscape that ruins mm -hmm. uh, the image I mean it's very rare everything is beautiful the little tree even everything and there and the light because for me the light is very important um, there is a special light in Tuscany yeah. and and is changing from part, parts to parts. There's a great light in Florence. Wow. There's a great light in, uh, in Chianti, different. And here, even from where I live near Montalcino, and if you go in the Val d'Orcia, different light. Yes, if you go I came uh, usually in, in summertime uh, to Val d'Orcia and uh, I, in winter time also uh, to the area of uh, Siena, San Gimignano. And actually, mm -hmm. uh, I, I saw it. It's so beautiful. That's right. I don't know why, but the light in Tuscany is really unique. And a, a photographer once told me that really there's a golden light. It's also for the photographers are, are special. And the locals told me when I came in summer, ah, you have to come in the winter time because it's more beautiful. Yeah. And uh, yes, low living, I think, as mm -hmm. we said, the becoming more essential, uh, yeah. tasting, uh, having a walk, tasting a good glass of wine. Sitting, I was going to say that, yes, the food is so good here. Sitting and have a talk uh, or just observe or do normal things, uh, being more more conscious of what you have and what you have around, no? Mm -hmm. So these are really choices. And I think coming to Tuscany, uh, for, for me personally, it was always really a deep feeling of comfort, of coming home. I would like to ask you more questions, but actually I think uh, we had uh, just so much beautiful stuff to think about mm -hmm. uh, oh yeah. whenever yeah. i'm 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 so happy to share with you there's I'm, so much i also have ideas when you yes, speak right. <laughs> okay, right. so i i would like to i would like to come back uh, but stop here because what you said it's so beautiful and i really love it to to um to stop it here to think about to metabolize and uh you say metabolize? Do I don't know. I say I say it all the time. I'm afraid it's not right. I also <laughs> say it sounds strange. <laughs> okay. Digest, maybe digest. Yes, digest. Okay. So I I I hope we see you soon, Annalisa. And okay. thank, you. thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you thank to you. everybody. Bye. Ciao, Gada. Ciao. So I hope you loved this talk with her as much as I did and I'm sure we will meet again and talk about more interesting things about Italy, living in Italy and if you have any questions you can let me know in the comments or in a message. I am Karen, I am real estate expert here in Italy and life coach. See you in my next video, bye!